but we sure you hope that you have been watching and enjoying this year's Rod the Builder Challenge. It is time for the big reveal. Yes, we're very excited that Rod can pull the upset here. He's versus an IKEA expert today. Who did a better job to get a family room ready for a holiday party? Let's check in with Rod the Builder, who's live inside IKEA in Canton. Rod, how did you do? I think I did okay. I mean, you know, it, I, I, I've been saying it looks like Dad did it. But anyway, I've got. It's rare that I finish one of these, but this is the finishing touch. Um, I'm putting the little. Uh, uh, topper on the Christmas tree. Um, normally I would use just white lights, but they didn't have just white, so we have that. Um, were my wife around, she would want us to use sort of a Christmas uh, ribbon uh, sash for the curtains. I couldn't find one of those either, but uh, this this is what we've come up with. This is my room, and uh, yes, there's a cleanup on aisle five. <laughs> there, there's my kids' table. Here's the TV. And uh, the table, I, I built the table. Well, I had a little help with that. I did the <laughs> chairs, and the table came that way. We've got Christmas gifts under the Christmas tree. So, you know, you can have a little party in here. Uh, you just have to watch out for the rug. It does curl up. But Amanda is over here, and she has hers. And Amanda, tell us about what you did and, and your... Uh, interpretation of all of this. You know, we gave it a few little touches of the holiday, but really we looked at even seasonality because think about, you know, winter time, it's colder. So we did the double layer of curtains, you know, to keep some of the cold out. We did the different layers of textiles to kind of add that nice warm layer and really kind of give just like the holiday, co holiday color. And then, you know, this was a multifunctional space, right? So we had kids and adults alike. So we used the coffee table for the kids. They can sit right here on a nice comfy rug and eat or play games. And then we took our cart. So I'm gonna say this cart was maybe an arts and crafts cart during the day. Uh -huh. And then we changed it to a little bit of a bar cart at night for the adults. So really being able to flip the room back and forth from day to night, that's what we really tried to do. Well, very, it's, it's gorgeous. It's Thank beautiful. Thank you. This is not fixer upper. <laughs> <laughs> but what any thoughts on what we did here? You know, you did a good job. There was one thing that I didn't even think of, which was the kids' table. And talk about, like, really multifunctional. The kids can do their arts and crafts during the day, and then you flip it over at night. Kids can eat there. You yep. know, you, you have a lot of experience in that yeah, department. You kids, said yes. keep, it, keep it clean. Keep the crumbs off the floor and give them that table That's to right. eat and on. And the kids, when they get bored, they can juggle the, the, uh, <laughs> the ornaments in here. <laughs> so there you have it, another Rod the Builder in the bank. Guys, what do you think? I think it looks great. I actually think you did a really, really good job, Rod. I know we always <laughs> give you a hard time, but I, I, I'm very, very impressed. You should be proud. Well, thank you. I channeled, I channeled my wife with all of this. I tried mm -hmm. to think, okay, what would my wife do or tell me to do? And here you have it. <laughs> well, You're married to a very smart lady, I will say that. Yes, <laughs> you are. And I, I'm going to call it a, well, we should call it, maybe that could be a tie, you know? I think it was pretty good, but... Uh, Rod, I, I, You're generous, I, Jason. You're yes, generous. Yes, very generous. Uh, nobody, no money is changing hands. Well done, Rod. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. Rod. <laughs>